So every time I try to cover this sling bag from Devoom, who were kind enough to send it out, I end up making the video an hour long. So we're not going to do that. OK, so we're going to talk about the app versus using it with the sling bag, as well as letting you guys know that their app actually controls pretty much all their products. And if you haven't been sleeping underneath a rock, then you probably heard of Dboom somewhere or seen one of their products in a YouTube setup tour or a streaming setup tour or just an office setup, gaming setup, whatever it may be. You probably nine times out of 10 have seen at least one of their products. But the thing about it is is that they also make everyday carry bags as far as a whole uh, three different sling bags and I think two different backpacks, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head. And hopefully in the future, Devon will be kind enough to send out their backpack. If not, then I'll purchase with my own money and cover it because spoiler alert, I love this product and I believe that their backpack will be the same experience. So I wouldn't mind covering it and stuff like that and actually using it. Uh, the thing about it is, is that I have other little bags or wherever that I've tried to use as far as sling bags or wherever go. One of them is more of a camera bag where I want to shoot a camera and other two are just like some other backpacks, small backpacks or wherever that I can use in a sling orientation. But they're just they're not as good of a quality wherever for a everyday back. And when I'm looking for is something that can hold my point and shoot camera, hold, you know, obviously my cell phone, ID cards, all that stuff, as well as anything else in the bag or wherever conform to my body nice and neat or wherever no uh changing as far as the shape or anything like that and just you know be able to go out and just grab it whenever i need to wherever put it on me when i get in the car take it off you know drive around put it back on me you know walk around and do everything and that's what the point of an everyday carry bag is and i know there's a lot of you know choices out there and some of them cheap some of them not but this one is very very unique and i would dare to say that probably one of the best if not the best as far as being unique and what it offers here as far as the product and the quality itself and again these are just my honest thoughts and opinions using this for only a week there are some scenarios that i will talk about a little bit later in the video wherever why uh, i won't be able to fully experience going out and about wherever and using it we'll get to that when it, we need to but let's go ahead and talk about the build quality and pretty much everything that you see within, I would say the bag, as well as the app connection to the bag itself. All right, so first things first, I wanna say that the bag sits up right by itself without anything inside or wherever, I really do like that. The other sling bag that I was using that could pretty much hold everything I want is admittedly this. This is a military style bag or wherever. If you guys don't know, I served in the military um, and this was just something that hooks up to a rucksack. So when you're fully kitted or wherever, but as you can see, it's 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 going to conform and bend and just not be the maintain its shape or wherever for um, the use case scenario. That's more of a fanny pack or pack or wherever. It's not going to be in a sling bag orientation. And even if you do, I experienced it taking it to Hawaii. It's not very comfortable. So that's why I would suggest, you know, getting an actual dedicated everyday sling bag. And like I said, this one's the most unique inside. You can see I still have some stuff or wherever in here from um, my time traveling with it. It has multiple pockets, as you can see, even a zipper pouch. And it has, you know, actual little pockets inside as well as a mesh zip zipper compartment right there and then on the back we also have a little zipper component right here and you have a little you know i would say little handle that you could probably uh pull a you know rolling bag wherever handle through one of those small ones for you know carrying on um onto the plane or something like that i don't think anything too bigger of a suitcase or anything like that is going to fit through here obviously it's not that uh wide of a handle um and that's fine that's completely fine i don't think that this handle is cheaply made either it feels pretty good or wherever it's one of the cheaper i would say filling things on this bag or wherever but that's not a knock to the quality of this handle i don't think it's going to break or you know cause issue wherever if you wanted to use that in that orientation speaking of handles let's go ahead and talk about the strap the strap feels like a seat belt you know i that's the only way i could feel it uh talk about it or wherever it's just the the build quality and how it feels wherever like i said it feels like a, a seat belt it doesn't feel like it's gonna fray or anything like that it's a really really good quality the knocking mechanism wherever is pretty unique you have a pull tab right here to pull it up and then you slide the buckle wherever so you have a very very secure connection and then when you slide it in or wherever it's magnetized and like i said this thing ain't moving or budging unless you lift this up or wherever and then pull it apart 
So that's pretty good right there. Then you have it strapping wherever to the sides. Now these uh, right here, this material back here feels like an actual, you know, pretty good, decent backpack or wherever. It's nothing, again, the build quality here is nothing to uh, scoff at. I think it's really, really good. And then on the inside of wherever you do have this little zipper right here, that is going to you know close but the zipper obviously is not going to be waterproof or splash proof or anything like that i would be very cautious of putting electronics inside even though it's advertised you know to fit like a nintendo switch or a handheld game system inside here and you could obviously do that but i kind of wish that the water resistance that we have of the zipper up here it was you know back here wherever that's just my personal opinion Again, it's up to you if you want to put something in there like that. I personally don't have any kind of gaming handheld consoles or anything like that. So like a switch or just anything else. Uh, so I don't have anything to fit in here. So I would just put, you know, like a, a water bottle or something in there. And as you can see, it fits perfectly fine. And then it, it, it's it's big enough, you know, what I'm saying or like a wireless microphone in here set or wherever or just anything else that you wanted to do for content creation, vlogging or wherever, maybe a selfie stick or uh, a gimbal for your phone or something like that, that's small and compact, you can do that. Because again, I think this is going to be really good for the everyday carry, but I also do think that people who are going to be doing vlogging uh, style content creation who use their cell phones and stuff you can put all your gear that you need in here as well as your personal items on top of that like your your uh i would say your wallet um any kind of other things wherever i always try to keep you know headache medication because i do suffer from migraines a lot or wherever due to my military service as well as like other stuff in here like lotion and everything like that um i don't have anything as far as like traveling uh, anytime soon that's why i don't have anything to really fill out this bag too much but when I was in Hawaii, I would definitely would have liked this because it would have fit everything in there. And again, unless you're in a climate that also, you know, rains a lot or wherever, I would put my Sony ZV-1 in here, the wireless lavalier system, the microphones, all that stuff. I would put that in here and that would be perfectly fine. But if you didn't want to put your camera in there or wherever, you can go to the front pocket and obviously put your camera in here. And like you, like I said, you have this splash proof, you know, somewhat water resistant zipper or wherever. So, you know, it would save you if an accidental downpour or you got splashed water or something on it. And of course, this is facing, you know, outward. So it's going to hit that and be perfectly fine. Um, what I would also recommend is if you're going to do all that kind of stuff, or wherever, and actually bring a camera and you're going to try to vlog and stuff, don't get a power bank like this. Um, this one is perfectly fine. I've had it for a long time. It's from Anchor. I'll leave uh, what it is on screen or wherever. But it has uh, three little dots on it right here, as you can see from the side. And when I was using this or wherever in a use case scenario, it only used one dot and that was it. And like I said, I usually just plug it up like this. And the thing about it is, is that this is a wireless uh, pad or wherever that's on top. So essentially you could just put your phone or wherever on it, you know, and power it up and it's going to charge your phone or wherever while displaying the pixel. And that's why, you know, I got this thing or wherever, just in case I needed to plug something else into it. And like I said, you could just put it straight into your sling bag and boom. You know what I'm saying? It fits right in there. But the reason why I said probably not go with this sling bag or wherever, if you are going to have like your actual point of shoot camera, like your Sony ZV-1 and stuff, even though it's super compact, you can see already how much space this power bank uh, takes up or wherever. So if you had a smaller one that you could tuck in the corner and then put something else in here. But as soon as you start putting, like I said, the, the, the phone inside as well or wherever, because you want to, you know, keep it you can start seeing that it fills up pretty quickly or wherever. So again, I would just recommend getting a smaller power brick or wherever to fit in here. But I know this is not what it's designed for, but you know, it's a little helpful tip. So zipping it up or wherever feels pretty good. The zipper feels pretty good. The water resistant or wherever. I haven't had the chance to really use it and I'm not gonna spray the bag or wherever because that's not what it's supposed to do or wherever. It's just a little bit of splash resistance. The only thing that feels cheap on the bag on the front or wherever is this little leathery part right here that I would say. Um, it does make me wonder over time, is it going to, you know, uh, break apart or something like that. I'm not really sure what they used here or wherever, but that's the only thing that feels of not as high quality as everything else, but that's just my personal take or wherever on it or wherever. 
But overall, I don't have a problem with the sling bag oh, and the material here feels more premium or wherever than the sides or wherever. And that's because of the LCD screen and then or the pixel screen. And then I would say the screen is probably this wide or wherever and you get the display that you see right there. So again, overall, pretty nice. You got a little branding right here so people can see. But at the same time, I think this is more so of the Bluetooth, you know, antenna connection, whatever you want to call it, to the actual device itself. And as you can see, it's on this brighting set it, brightest setting and my lights are pretty bright wherever and you can still see it clearly. I used it, you know, for a little TikTok, a little dance video or wherever. And, you know, it was getting dark outside and it was still bright enough to see wherever crystal clear so there's no problems with the brightness of the screen or anything like that as well and down here you have a little area that you could probably put another selfie stick or something down here i'm not sure what you would actually strap to this but you can see you strap to it and i'm just i'm lazy i don't take these protective stuff on off as you can see i i just went out like this or whatever and that was it so um but yeah other than that like i said really nice little sling bag i didn't have a problem with it using it or wherever Connecting to the app was perfectly easy and fine. And I will say if you wanted to go into the app and use the sling bag or wherever and you saw something that you liked, you can go here. You can see there's a download button right here to where you can download stuff. You can save it and display it right there. You can edit it right there. You can heart all that stuff or wherever and you can heart and you can also follow the artist or wherever if they're making a lot of stuff that you like unfortunately some of the people who make this stuff or wherever you can see that it's kind of great out the download button the reason why that is is because some people don't let their stuff be downloaded anymore so you will definitely have to you know find um you know an artist or a design that you like and if you wanted to like I said, the author is disabled, you know, saving, editing and stuff like that. For whatever reason, some people do that. And that's that's perfectly fine. But if we go to, let's say, uh, creative and we see something that we like. As you can see right there, it's lit up and you can edit and save it. And then, you know, you hit apply or wherever and it will apply it to the screen and it will save it to your gallery and everything like that. So you can go back and reference it later. And like I said, some people have done it, some people have not. And as you can see at the top, there's so many different uh, categories and tabs and stuff that you can go into and look for, you know, something that you're looking for. And if you don't want to do all that and you want to skip, you can literally search topics or you can search artworks and stuff like that. I've done kick and YouTube. I haven't found anything on kick, but YouTube, you know, pops up or wherever. So you could advertise, you know, your YouTube channel or something like that. And you can go in and edit their stuff as well as, you know, download. And like I said, follow the artists and everything. And they have a very, very active community. And like I said, there's just so much that you can search through wherever with the app. And it's easy to, you know, download, save or whatever, and display on the actual, you know, pixel display. And again, this works on any of their products. So if you see something that you like or whatever, uh, pretty much you can, you know, copy paste this to any product or whatever, because the app, like I said, works with any of their products. With that being said, though, I do want to go ahead and mention that my time with the app or wherever, it took me a while to come up with my own design that I wanted. And um, that's a little bit of frustration on my part because I'm not a pixel, uh, pixel guy or wherever. So, you know, doing my own kind of design and stuff like that it took a long time so this is what i've came up with and as you can see once you go into the gallery or wherever and you have you know what design or wherever you want to try out i tried some things or wherever you go here you can edit from there you can upload it you know save it to your gallery upload it to the cloud or you hit this little television or wherever and it will apply it to the actual display or wherever that you're connected to or wherever underneath which product that you're in so going inside the actual text or wherever this is one of the cons that i would say with this is that when you go in here and you try to type whatever text you want the actual text to display on the device you can't change the size of the text so the text is always going to be this size. And the problem with that is that if I wanted to just leave Squidhead Joe at the bottom and have something in the background or wherever, like a YouTube logo or something like that, and just have that or even make, you know, Squidhead Joe a little bit, you know, smaller and still have it scroll or wherever or isolate down, you can't really move this stuff around once you start getting into the 
uh, Leditor, which is pretty much LED or whatever, text editor. Um, but you can change the colors and stuff like that. You can change the effects and everything. Um, and what you see here as far as what you what you want to do with the images and everything. And like I said, it's, it's perfectly fine, I guess, for the most part or whatever. But like I said, not being able to really customize like what you want as far as you know inside the image having it at top and your text down below especially not being able to um like i said change the size of the text you know i don't care about the font or anything like that but not being able to change like i said the size of the text or anything and you can upload uh or download or wherever anything that you want and that's what I did. I tried to, you know, put my own text there and I tried uploading a YouTube logo or wherever. And you can see right here in the phone how it looks or wherever with the, the layers and the effects or wherever that I have here. But like I said, if I wanted to, you know, change it up or wherever, the text just kind of blocks the image. And like I said, having it a little bit smaller, putting it towards the bottom of the screen, top of the screen, wherever it may be, and having the YouTube logo in the background, that's what I wanted and couldn't do that. So there are some limitations. Again, it is pixel artwork, whatever you want to call it. So doing something like this seemingly works out for me and that's perfectly fine. You have a lot of tabs to go through right here and you have a shortcut menu right here so you can add anything down here to up here. So when you're here, you have access to it. But let's go over a little bit of things that are here. You have a countdown option you have a scoreboard option you have notifications if you wanted to connect uh, an app or something like that to have it displayed on here you have a weather app uh you know option to put it up here once you set all the parameters and everything like that it will be displayed up here and you also have if i go back here go into here you have clocks and you can change the different display uh, types of clocks or whatever colors and everything like that you can put on the temperature you can put on the weather and stuff like that. You can, you know, put on the day, the week and the time and change all that stuff. And then you can put on a rotating, just random displays of random artwork or wherever the kind of like the top stuff you have lighting or wherever. So you can change the color just of the LED thing. This is a way that you check up for updates or wherever. So it can download firmware. You have signals or wherever, just little displays of, you know, little icons and stuff like that. And custom custom is your three bookmark little screen or wherever you can add or wherever and it will cycle through any of these or wherever that you have here and it will save up or wherever so if you add a whole bunch of stuff or wherever it will cycle through whatever's on this page or wherever as far as being displayed right there so if you pick multiple different images it would obviously you know play that animation and then move on to the next image play that animation move on to the next pin the image and so on and so forth so again there is a lot to a lot here or wherever to cover um, going in your uh, actual galleries or wherever, this is your locals or wherever. If you favorite any items, it'll be here. If you upload it or want to upload anything, it'll be here. Click here, you go in here, and this is how you edit. And this is pretty much self-explanatory because once you get in here the first time, it will pop up everything on every single tool, letting you know what that tool does. And you can see right here, you got your back button, your redo button, you know, your play animation, skipping frames or whatever. This is your pencil. So you can pencil in stuff. You can ink drop stuff. You can, you know, just splash paint or whatever. You can erase. You have a little square to crop and everything like that. A little move button, everything. You have a voice thing, wherever you can record something in time with the at frame animations. And then the audio will play from your phone and you can have it inside your sling bag while it's displaying wherever in sync with whatever you have displaying. So that's pretty cool. And then you have, like I said, the texting or wherever. But once you go into the texting and you start doing that thing that I talked about earlier, um, it will switch from being the animation in this screen or wherever to that other screen. And unfortunately, they don't work in tandem with each other. And like I said, you have a lot of limitations when you start using the actual text or wherever to display actual text and not, you know, pix uh, pixelated text. So I would steer clear of that. That's just my personal opinion. Inside this little window that I just clicked in, you can go in and rearrange the shortcuts or wherever to your liking. So maybe you use a lot more over here and maybe keep the ones that you don't use over here. And then this picture or wherever, you can take a picture and everything like that you can see the pixel community of pictures you can take a picture and you know upload that or wherever and use it in here you can check uh, change the um you know that canvas size or wherever 
uh, just depends on what product or wherever that you have. And if you have a bigger screen, obviously you can pick those bigger ones. If you don't have a bigger screen, then obviously you're going to be limited to your camera size or whatever you have. And it will be, you know, orientated to that actual canvas size. And then you have the play button or wherever to play different animations or wherever. If you wanted to add more stuff to timeline, you would just click this plus button and snip it or wherever you can go in here and edit the timeline and stuff like that. You got to delete frames, all that stuff. Also in here, you can control that scroll speed or wherever of the animation, or wherever frame rate, nothing really, I would straight say just straight up pauses or wherever, or just displays one, unless you go in here and delete like all the frames or wherever then it would just you know stay on one screen and there won't be any animation or whatever so you'll have to do it that way if that's what you want to do now again a lot to take in a lot to cover or wherever within the the actual app and based on what you're you know wanting to design and everything like that but fully having like i said everything in the app and not going into too much detail with like having the clock display the weather display you know sports and everything and if i remember correctly there isn't there's even a actual game that you can play with inside of the pixel app you can see right here it's a little pixel little app or whatever and it's like several games that you can play inside and it would display literally on <laughs> the sling bag it's just it's so much and i don't know how they expected me to cover all this stuff or whatever and like i said i could be glossing over or missing you know some functions of the bag but having this as an everyday carry for a unique individual especially if you're going out and you're vlogging especially if you're using your phone somewhat if you're using a uh, we'll say a point and shoot camera but mostly if you're using a phone and you have a little phone gimbal or something like that and you want to keep all your stuff on you and you want to uniquely display and advertise something wherever like having a little reminder pop up if somebody's watching your video and you're vlogging and you're holding your stick out and it says subscribe or wherever like it's just really cool and then you know it can start a conversation and people can find out that you're a content creator or wherever and that spreads even more on your platform and like i said with you know lavalier microphones becoming more popular being small and condensed and being able to hook up to your phone and people using their phone for content creation or just a small point of shoot camera and having a bag that can hold all your gear wherever you're not toting around a you know a, i would say a backpack or a, a small camera bag or something like that and like i said it being strapped to your chest and conforming to you know your body and stuff like that being able to sit upright holding its form and everything like that and just how unique like i said with the actual pixel display and the quality of the bag or whatever yes it's a little bit more on the expensive side like i said in comparison to probably some other sling bags or whatever out there that's an everyday carry that's you know maybe more suitable for people but there also are ones that are even more experienced than this one but they don't even have you know a led screen and they don't really add anything new to the market of sling bags overall I do like the slim bag. I do highly recommend it. Um, I will say though, using it in the one case scenario that I was using it in, um, I had to take my wife to the airport and or my wife and son to the airport and our car broke down. I've been talking about it in some videos uh, recently as far as having car issues and everything. We've had the alternator replaced. We've had some belts replaced. We've had um, some suspension work, wherever the only thing that we weren't able to do because of the toolkit or wherever that came with it, the, the components or wherever were a little bit too big to fit into the actual socket. So that was a manufacturing issue. So hopefully we can get a new component for that. But that was the low ball bearings or wherever. But essentially the car just broke down it stopped uh producing uh i would say ac or cool ac it started blowing a little bit of hot and the battery light a light came on for the car we pulled off to the side of the road she was able to take a lift to the to the actual airport or wherever i had to wait out there for like three hours for a tow truck and then spend out of pocket or wherever for the expenses because it was out of my coverage zone or wherever for my roadside assistance and everything and the sling bag stayed powered on the whole entire time. And I we left around like 10, 10 30 or something like that in the morning to get to the airport and everything. So she have time and everything. And I didn't get back home until almost eight o'clock at night. And the only thing that it happened on the actual power bank, and mind you, it was charging my phone and the actual uh, sling bag powering or wherever, was that these little dots or wherever that's here on the side, it would uh, only go down by one. The whole entire time I was out there, again, from 10.30 something in the morning to almost eight o'clock at night, 
I think that's good enough to display how much this is. And again, charging my phone, having this wireless on the back of wherever. So I, I, I think you're good. You know what I'm saying? As far as the durability, it might be just because it's from Anchor and it's a good power bank or whatever. Um, but again, having a product, you know, displayed the whole entire time, never unplugged it or anything, never lost connection outside or wherever inside the room or wherever it does from time to time. But that's because I have, you know, 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth and all that stuff going on in the office for all my lights and all of it's running on my phone app and everything like that. So I was running into some disconnection issues wherever inside my room, but I don't think anybody's going to really have this much going on that I do inside this space, you know, displaying your own type of creativity and uniqueness and i think that this sling bag covers all those boxes and like i said it's very comfortable and i'm just surprised of how good this is and like i said this is my first experience yes with a actual everyday carry proper bag but if this quality of a product is like this that's why I don't have a problem, you know, recommending them and leaving the affiliate links and I'm not bashing the product. It's not because the company sent it out. And well, on top of that, that's why I'm a big component of if DVOOM doesn't send me out this, uh, the backpack or wherever that I want to cover, I would just go ahead and buy it with my own money and cover it on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Because I've said it multiple times before, when a company makes a good product, you should support them. When a company has a good service. Uh, customer service, you should support them. When a company has very good representatives or wherever that are willing to work with you, who are nice, kind, et cetera, or wherever, and just a good company, period, that's why you should support them or wherever, especially as a content creator, you know, reaching out and a company is willing to work with you. When you have all those good signs and they check all the boxes, that's why, you know, you should you know, talk about your experiences with a company and let your uh, viewer base know and, you know, cover the products and stuff. And that's why, like I've said in the past, I partner up with Fine Fine and, you know, they sponsor the channel. So um, Devoom, really, really great product here. I imagine that I will be using this for probably years to come. And then on top of that, I kind of really wish I did have it when I went on my trip to Hawaii or wherever, it would have made it a thousand times better as far as like traveling and stuff goes. But um, again, really really nice however i might even pick one up for my wife because you know she wears a uh, actual fanny pack or wherever and it would be nice to have her have one or wherever i'm not sure what she would display on here i have no idea <laughs> but uh overall like i said as far as what it can hold the ease of access to everything it's just you know the product speaks for itself you know what i'm saying and how the app is intuitive or wherever. Yes, it took me about an hour to, you know, make the pixel design. But again, that was me not really knowing what I wanted to do with it. And on top of that, learning how to, you know, use the editing stuff or wherever. But, you know, it would, it's somebody brand new within an hour is able to make something or wherever that they're decently, halfway decently uh, happy with. And even if you didn't want to make your own stuff and it's a little bit frustrating with the editor, they have tons and tons and tons of stuff I showed it wherever within the gallery from an active uh, fan base and creator base who are making, you know, these pixel arts. So if you can't find whatever type of pixel art that you're looking for within the app, I'll be very, very surprised. But like I said, you can just go in there and make your own. With all that being said, if you're interested in any other product reviews I have done in the past, then you can check out the product review playlist that's popping on the screen right now. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video and you wanna see some more product reviews in the future, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all take care, have a squid day. God bless you and yours and deuces everybody. Much love.